Hello everyone, it's Kimber from Butterflies and Lullabies Nursery, and I'm here with little Xander. He just had his bottle. He's getting ready to go night night. It's like 11 o'clock here Central Standard Time in the States, and the house is finally quiet. So we thought we would do a video for you guys. We had a small haul that we did. Um, we had to go out and do some errands and pick up some prescriptions, etc. And we had a trunk full of stuff to donate at um, our Goodwill. And so, of course, for donating, we had to go in the store and look around. So, there's some things that we found. So, come on, sweetie. You want to say hi to the lady? Huh? Say hi. Say hi, everyone. Say hi. Hi to all my aunties and all our reborn friends. See, uh, I'm getting sleepy. I'm going to go to sleep soon, huh? Yeah. Got me, sweetie. I'm going to stay here by Mommy, but I'm going to put you in the chair here, okay? And you can help me with the video. Okay. We'll just put him in his nightcap. Gangster wants to see. I think that's so cute on him with the little tail there. There, honey. There you go. You want to hold your little bear? There. Say hi. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, sweetie. There, you can come up and be in the video with mom, okay? All right, guys. And here's my little squirty cat, my little gangster girl. She was the runt of the litter, so she's my little tiny cat. The other cat we have is her sister, and she's probably about one and a half of gangster, so. <laughs> but she likes to come in and help me wherever I'm at, whatever I'm doing. And if you hear crunching in the background, please excuse it. It's my dog right over here in the next room by us. <laughs> 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 be in the video too, huh, Gangsy? Yeah. She swatted yeah. the camera. <laughs> she was saying hi to you guys with her paw. Oh, come here. Okay. Okay, guys, we're back. Got the animals taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think I'm going to start out um, with the things that we picked up at our Goodwill. Um, some of them, just a couple things are going to be um, non-reborn related, but you know, I figured we'll just throw them in there anyway. So, the first thing that I got was this Every Birdie Welcome little sign, and that's going to go out at our um, camper, at our trailer on our permanent site at Woodhaven Lakes. And if you guys have never heard of that, they have a website in that if you'd want to Google it and check it out. It's called Woodhaven Lakes. It's located in Sublette, Illinois. So that's going to go out at the camper, and then this is also going to go out at the camper too. So I just thought those were so cute. I like to decorate. We have a shed out there, you know, that we keep our mower and all that stuff in. And I like to decorate that, and um, mainly Kathy, but we had just repainted it last season, last summer. So it's all fresh and new looking. So, And then I like to um, decorate like in the trees and stuff also, and up by the camper. So. But anyway, I got those for our camper, and then Kathy found these glasses, and there was two of them, but they're like, um, they're like hand-blown, aren't they, with the, with the yeah. bubbles in them? You know, they've got all the little bubbles in them, and then the design down here, so she found those, and um, we've been running kind of low on glasses here at the house, inevitably here and there, the kids end up breaking one, and another one here or whatever or taking it out of the dishwasher that gets cracked etc so she liked those so we picked those up and then oh I got these um, four pair of pantyhose in the box um, you know they're again for um, the reborns with the weighting and all that inside and they are the um, I checked them out and they're a little bit thicker ones than that so the really fine glass beads and stuff won't go through them so I went ahead and picked those up. So, and then we did find some clothes. Um, I think. We'll, well, we'll start with. I think we'll start with um, Xander's little pile here. We saw this 
cute little Winnie the Pooh outfit, and it was brand new still with the tags on it. It's um, Mickey Mouse. It, and it's um, Mickey Mouse, but it's got the sleeper, and then the hat that matches, and then also the little bib that says Mickey on it. So Kathy thought that was really cute, so we went ahead and got that. Oh, and the cap does have Mickey on it too to match. So we got that three-piece set, and I think we got, I don't remember, but anyway, it's brand new. We got a good deal on it, so that will fit Xander. And then, um, well, the rest of Xander's things actually um, came from uh, Walmart because we did do a quick Walmart run. We had to pick up a couple things, and they did have some of the Garanimal um, clothes on sale on clearance. So I picked up um, this black pair of jeans, and they had them on clearance for two fifty. So I got Xander the black pair, and then also just like little jeans. So, or they could be for girls too. I mean, either or. Um, and of course, I'm going to wash them. I wash everything, whether it's used or new. I always wash everything before I put it on my babies in case, you know, as far as any color transfer or anything like that. So, so I will definitely wash those before I put those on Xander. And then Kathy picked out this cute little outfit, newborn size, the little, um, well, Track pants, jogging pants, sweatpants, whatever your term is, and they got the little stripes on the side. But she picked out the little, here I'll put it up here, she picked out the little pants, and then she picked out this cute little shirt to go with it. And it says Little Champs All-Star Team. And it's got a little lion and zebra and monkey there um, in really bright colors, kind of fluorescent colors. So she thought that was really cute. So... We got him a brand new outfit, so we got that on sale. Well, I don't think the shirt was on sale, but the pants were also on sale, so got those. And then they just happened to have these over on a clearance rack, um, and I got two of them. I think one is zero to three, and this one is newborn, but for Thanksgiving next year, and they had them for a dollar a piece, so I thought those were cute says gobble. You can just put little tan pants on or little black pants or whatever and that'll look cute for Thanksgiving. I should say this year because we're already in 2014 so. And then we'll go on to the little girls pile and I think you know there was there's two pieces in here that um, came from Walmart but all the rest of these came from the Goodwill and I got this cute little um, onesie and it says let me get my glasses here so sweet and it is a Carter's newborn and I just thought actually that would look really cute on um, Elena the colors because she looks good in pinks and blues so I got that for her and then this is also a Carter's newborn let me snap this up I think it makes it look better um, but we got this one for Jazzy, for Jasmine. We thought um, this one would look really cute on her, especially with the way I have her hair done now. Because um, until I reroute Jasmine, I think I'm going to leave her hair in the little braids like I have it now. Because out of everything I've done, even the trimming and everything, I think that looks the cutest on her. And Kathy agrees with me. So, um, But we got that one for her. And it is, um, it's a red with the white polka dots and then the flower because I know sometimes on video it's hard to tell if it's red or pink but it is a it's kind of a pinkish red but it is red and then this is a Garanimals newborn that we thought was really cute so we picked that one up and um, this one I believe is newborn also yes it's a newborn also so we got that and then this is a Carter's three month but I know, you know, Carter's usually runs small, so I just thought that was really cute. Just, it's cute anyway, but I thought for Valentine's Day this, this next year, 2015, and then we found this cute little pair of red pants, which of course could be boys or girls, but I just thought that matched really cute as far as going with the, um, with the onesie. 
So we picked that up. And then we found um, this pair of, it's like really light baby pale pink and gray striped pants. And it's got the little bow up here. And um, then it's got the little tag down there at the bottom. So we thought those were pretty neutral as far as going with a lot of different tops. And then I found these little corduroy pants with the little ruffled bottoms and the little pockets. And I just thought that was so cute for the little girls. And these, this one is, I'm trying to remember, it's okie dokie, okie dokie newborn. So I got that. And then I found this cute little pair. This is um, jumping beans and this is three months. But I found these cute little shorts and I just thought they were really cute. And I was thinking actually of Claire when I got these. So that's Claire. <laughs> so I thought those might look really cute on her. because She's got a little bit longer legs than that. So and she's a little bit bigger around. So um, I got those for her. And then um, Kathy found this cute little like denim jumper. But it's the really soft, you know, it's the really like, it's not like jean jean material it's like really soft kind of like flannel flannel denim so we thought that was really cute for the girls and that's a zero to three month so that one will probably fit claire really good too with a shirt Trix is coming it. to see you hi trixie and then here's my other cat we call her the fluffy cat <laughs> hi coco <laughs> come on the dog <laughs> and um come on over there go and Trixie, anyway, is Gangster's sister, and she's like, as you can tell, she's a lot bigger than Gangster, so. And Coco, of course, is jealous because, oh my goodness, the cat's getting attention, so. And then I saw this cute little, it's a Carter's, and it is a three-month dress. And Kathy kind of looked at it and was kind of like, eh, whatever. <laughs> but I had visions for this dress, and it buttons up the back which I think is kind of neat. You don't see, you know, a whole lot of that anymore. Um, but I am going to pretty this dress up. Um, I just, with some of my other supplies that I got for like my headbands and my hats and all that kind of stuff, I'm going to put a little flower up here and then I might sew um, like a pink ribbon on here and put some of my felt um, appliques on there. And I just, I'm going to pretty it up and it's going to look really cute when I get it done. So. Either I will keep that one for Claire to wear, or, um, you know, if not, I you may end up seeing it on one of my um, handmade um, online sales that I do, along with like my headbands and all that kind of stuff. So, either way, it, it will get good use. And then at Walmart for the little girls, we found this new, it's newborn size, and I just thought these were so cute. It's like the little leggings with the built-in skirt on it and they had that on clearance for 250 so I got that and then they also had um, the onesies on sale for 250 and I thought that one was really cute and the color as far as the pink goes it just matches like perfectly as far as you know to make a cute little outfit so I just thought that was really adorable so that's the the one thing that we got for the girls at Walmart so that's all the clothes. Oh, I did at um, our Goodwill, Easter's coming, and I did find a couple of um, pretty little hats, and I like this one as far as being white and kind of neutral, but I like the, the scalloped rim. And I have had hats on Claire before, and they look really cute on her. I'm not sure if this one might be a little bit too big. Um, if it is, then... Um, I might include this on one of my online yard sales if you guys would be interested in maybe like toddler, you know, the bigger toddler dolls. And then I also picked up this um, just pretty pink one because I thought that would go with so many things. And I thought it would look really cute with this dress when I get it done <laughs> for Claire with how I'm going to decorate it and that. But if they end up just really being too big on her, then I'll see if maybe any of you guys can use them. And so that, I believe, was all the clothes. 
and we were kind of excited um, at the Goodwill. This is not reborn related, but we found this um, Home Medics um, mat massager, and it's basically like a whole body massager. You know, it goes from like your head down to like your feet, and um, it looked like it was you know like new in the box as far as you know the box was in good shape and everything and it was in there nice and neat and everything and it had the instruction book and everything and we got it for $9.99 so <laughs> we were really excited and we tried it last night and it works wonderful it has um, a bunch of settings that you can go from like your head your shoulders your middle back lower back your thighs and your calves and it has heat in it also so good um, for your fibromyalgia with my fibromyalgia and my arthritis yes that um, we tried it last night and it worked wonderfully and it felt it felt good so um, we got that and then when I was at Walmart um, a different day this was a different day this week when I took my mom to the doctor and stuff and went and took got her things at Walmart I found these um, little packs of washcloths and there's six of them in there and this one is like gender neutral um, but they had them on clearance for a dollar so, and when I was setting up my nursery here, um, I come to realize I only had like one towel and that's for the girls and I had absolutely no washcloth. <laughs> so when I've taken my babies like to the sink to, you know, just wipe them down and kind of, you know, wash out their hair and stuff, I just have been using like a clean dish rag. So when I saw these, I thought, oh, I can actually have washcloths <laughs> in my nursery. So I got two packs of those and then they had, um, this one you can see a little bit more as far as the designs. But then they had some boy ones. Um, you know, blue, and this one has the stars, and this one has like a drum set on it and says um, like monkey business or something. So it must have some monkeys or something playing the drums. So, but, um, so I got those, so I thought then I'll have some washcloths in my nurseries, and then as I start in with my reborning um, and selling them and stuff, I figured that could be a little cute thing just to add in their package. And then I found this cute little tubby pail um, that's a butterfly. So, of course, it's very fitting for my nursery. Um, so I got that, and it was on clearance for a dollar two. But my thought with that was, because um, if you guys remember in one of my other haul videos, I got this bath mat because um, I just previously had always laid my babies on the counter, et cetera, on a towel. And so I picked this up, and it I mean, it's gender neutral as far as it's just you know, um, like polar bears and sea lions and otters and things like that, but um, it does kind of have like a boy look to it, so I just thought if I put this down, if I'm doing a bath with like one of my little girls, then it can just kind of girly it up a little bit as far as looking more feminine as far as them laying on it, so. So yeah, I picked that up. And I thought that was really, really cute. And of course, fits my theme of butterflies and lullabies. And then we went over to the Dollar Tree, which is next to our Goodwill. Just really quick, I just ran in and kind of ran out. Um, but I wanted to get more of that spray that I had told you guys about, the air freshener spray that smells like um, baby powder. And it's called um, Angel of Mine. And it's baby powder scent. And oh my gosh, you guys, it smells so good. So... And since I'm going to be doing a lot here in the nursery and starting with um, my other stuff anyway, I wanted to make sure I had plenty on hand as far as just springing in here because then I just, I love being in here and the smell and stuff. So you guys have to excuse me. I just, I'm getting cramps in my hips up here. I've got to straighten up my legs. I'm sorry. The joys of fibromyalgia. Um, and then I'm really excited, you guys. I... Um, had started ordering my stuff that I need to um, do my headbands and my um, little hats and my hair clips um, and in, even in with like my loveys and tag blankets and stuff. Um, so when we were out at Walmart, we came across a clearance section and they had these um, snapware containers on clearance and we got them at a really good deal. Um, they were normally for like Christmas stuff, like Christmas ribbon and bows and stuff like that. But um, they're going to keep me very well organized. Of course, I got I have a lot more ribbon than this, but these are some of the ribbons that I got um, on clearance when I was um, with my mom at Walmart that one day. And then I also got some satin binding 
Then I have down here for like my lovies and my um, other blankets and stuff I'm going to be making. So I got a good organizing tool here and some ribbon and then they had this um, big one that was like advertised at Christmas that you put the dividers in for like ornaments. But this is going to work out perfectly for my embellishments and stuff for my headbands and hats and all of that. And so in the bottom container I'm going to keep um, you know, like my headbands and the hats and everything, and then on the top I'm going to keep my embellishments. And um, I got one of my orders in, um, and this is just, you know, some stuff that I ordered in regards to decorating um, the headbands, hats, and all of that stuff. So um, I went ahead and got those organized in here this evening, actually. So I was really excited about that because um, I like to be neat and organized, especially you know, if I'm going to be working on things and doing projects. So I was really happy that um, Kathy actually, I think, spotted these, and I was really happy about that because that's going to work out perfectly for me. So, um, hi, Trix. Come on. So I think that's it, guys. I think I have everything covered. And I thank you for joining us on our haul video. And um, we appreciate you watching and subscribing. And um, I'm going to do another quick short video here when I'm done with this one before we get ready to go to bed but um, yeah that's our small haul video and just want to let you guys know I'm starting to get my stuff so I'm going to be doing my um, crafty abilities with the headbands and the clippies and and the hats so watch out for that in the near future and I appreciate you guys watching and we'll talk to you later bye